Hello artists, welcome back to another episode of Super Happy Art Adventure Time. Today we are going to be making castles. When we are making castles in class today, you guys are also going to be making some castles at home. So you will see us in class using some Lego pieces to make the castles. So if you have Legos at home, you can also use your Lego pieces to make the castle in the same way. But if you don't have Legos at home, then you can just use a simple sponge. So make sure that you look around the kitchen and you grab a sponge and then you can cut it into four pieces to make them about this size or to try to make them like long rectangles. Now, today in class, we're gonna be learning about some of the features of castles. Castles have archways, they have towers, they have windows, they have gatehouses, they have doorways, and they have tall walls to protect the castle from invaders. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be putting the Lego blocks into black paint. If you want to, you could also make this assignment with white paint, but using black paper. So I'm gonna get started by first building my archway for my castle. So I'm gonna like, make the archway with pencil first, just so that way I know what I'm going around when I'm stamping. I'm just gonna draw an archway like that. An archway is sort of like a door, but on top it has a semicircle. So I'm going to start putting my Legos into the paint like this, and I'm just gonna go right around that archway, stamping as I follow my line up that. So I'm turning the Lego slightly, following the curve of the arch. I'm going right around. This is the entrance to my castle. Go down here at the bottom. I'm going to keep going up. Right around the entryway. There. Now I have an arch for my castle. And again, if you don't have Legos at home, you can always use your sponge, dip it into the paint like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna make the castle walls. Just using my sponge. Okay, and now I'm gonna go across, like this, across the archway. And every now and then I just kind of dip the sponge back into the black paint. Okay. And then I can take maybe a smaller Lego and I can do some little cinder blocks in there. Okay. So now I've got an entryway to the castle. I've got some sort of like stone texture going on. And now I want to make a tower. I'm going to make a tower for my castle. So I'm going to take a slightly bigger Lego, put it in the black paint, and I'm going to make a tower like this. I'm going to make two towers, one on either side of the castle. I'm really making sure I get my Lego loaded up with paint. Now I'm gonna make a triangle roof on top of the castle. So I'm gonna take a long Lego piece like this. And I'm gonna go like this. There, and now I have a tower. Do the same thing on the other tower. And like that. There. And then I can take a smaller Lego and I can kind of window action here, like that. I could put a window inside this one, okay. And then another thing that castles have is something called a battlement, okay. You can see them like this, they're kind of like, um, almost like teeth on top of the castle wall. And this is where the archers would stand and they would be able to fire their arrows out in between each of these stone barriers. 
and the stone barriers protect them from anyone else who might be firing arrows back at them. So I'm going to build some battlements on my castle too. I'm going to take this little square Lego. Okay, I'm just going to go one, two. And then I'm going to leave a little space between that battlement and the next one because I want to make sure I'm making a place for the archer to stand, which would be right there in the middle. Make one here. So oh, I can put some more texture on those. I'm going to switch back to my sponge now. Put a little texture inside each one so they really look like stone. There we go. Okay. Now the next step is to paint in the porticulus. The porticulus is the gate that comes up or down, depending on who's coming to the castle. So I've got my water cup here and my paintbrush. I'm just going to put my brush into the black paint, and I'm going to paint, oh, let's see here, one, two, three, four lines going down, and then I'm going to do my lines going across, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Now I kind of have a little bit of a gateway, so I can control who's allowed in my castle. And I'm just going to show you real quick also how you can do the assignment on black paper. So I'm going to take my sponge again and I'm going to put it in white paint this time. Okay. And I'm going to start by building the archway for this castle. Like that. And then I can also use the sponge, the same sponge I was using for the black paint. And I can mix it with a bit of the white paint to create a nice gray. And I can use that too, sponging in my archway. Now, oopsie. So now the next step, you're going to keep going with the wall. Okay, up like this. Just stamp, stamp, stamp. I think of each time you put the sponge to the paper like you're making one of the stone bricks. Keep going up. Okay, and I can put a tower on this one. I put my sponge on its side, on its edge right here. This is the edge to make a finer line. Just tilt it like this. First tower, just putting the sponge on its edge. And the second tower. Okay. And then you kind of create a nice texture for the castle. It actually looks like stone if you use the sponge. Oopsies. Now I'm going to make my battlements on top. This is for the archers to stand and hide out in case someone comes to attack the castle. And then, once I have the castle the way I like it, I'm going to let it dry, and then Miss Grace will send you a video showing you how to do part two of your castle uh, paintings.